we got authorization to replace 14 miles of primary barrier here in San Diego. We have just under 11 miles of that completed. Uh, primarily that was the old landing mat fence that was put up by Border Patrol Agents and National Guard in the 90s. It was falling down. So when we started the project, we kind of stumbled upon several buildings, uh, homes, if you will, uh, this, this shrine that's here behind me that were encroaching onto the border or were so close to the fence that there was going to be significant damage to them uh, if we didn't take extra precautions. There are a couple of structures. When I say structures, I mean like a normal house. It was built by contractors. It was built uh, professionally that croaches in, into the U.S. We're currently working with Mexico on how to resolve those, the International Boundary and Water Commission. Um, but in areas like this, the common American would, would refer to it more as like a shack. It's literally built out of plywood and scrap m material. But they're very meaningful to the people that live here. Um, so we were able to preserve several of those simply by taking our time. Um, and then working with the people on the south side so they could make an adjustment, maybe move some stuff farther south. It is an ongoing project that we haven't resolved every one of the issues as of yet. A lot of the people that live in this community are not smugglers. They have no intention of illegally entering the United States. They just live here. We interact with them on a regular basis. This is all our community.